We're Emily and Austin. Together, we bought a shuttle bus at the beginning of the pandemic with the vision to convert it into a mobile home on wheels. Last time you saw us, we were finishing our countertops and connecting the solar panels. In this episode, we will be installing a new fan as well as putting up the ceiling and the walls. What's up everyone? Today, Emily and I are back at the bus. Emily just had LASIK surgery yesterday, so she will be not necessarily uh, doing too much today. We gotta protect her new eyes. No, I put something in my eye. Emily, thank you. Got a fantastic fan, and this is one of the things that we were very hesitant on getting, but after watching a lot of the van life videos and shuttle bus videos of people already on the road, uh, they said that this was a must have. So we were finishing up the electrical system uh, and decided that we wanted to go ahead and connect this uh, up to our 12 volt. After we get this installed, then we are hoping to start doing the ceilings and the walls and putting in our stained white finished wood that we have right here. We're really hoping that things will get moving. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys what the Fantastic Fan looks like and what it came with. This is a brief intermission of an angle change. <laughs> I'm going inside the bus now. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> <Hurry> up! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We were both nervous to cut a huge hole in the top of Pegasus, but we were thrilled with how easy it was. Oh yeah, I gotta go turn on the battery. <laughs> <laughs> Batteries on. Solar's coming in. Batteries at a hundred percent. Go ahead and do the honors mess. We're back in the bus today to start on the ceilings and the walls. Austin did an amazing job yesterday finishing up all of the electrical work so everything is set and done. We even put the fantastic fan in and that is up and running now. So I'm so excited about that. And today is basically a whole day for the ceilings and the walls. Well, look who it is. Somebody gets to make their appearance on the YouTube channel. <laughs> All right guys, so this is my mom, Melissa, my dad, Rodney, and my sister back there came in. Came to come check out the bus today. <laughs> streaks in it it's just really cool I was really nervous about it at first um, but yeah it's just absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy that we went with this decision all right everybody so we are bringing the weekend to a close we're gonna have another busy week ahead of us trying to finish the ceiling and the walls but 
Things are looking good, starting to feel a lot like home in here. But we're pretty much done for the night, so we're gonna wrap everything up, clean up all of our supplies, and go home so that we can get ready for work tomorrow, and then also to pick up some more supplies. <laughs> At our favorite place, <laughs> Home Depot. <laughs> home Depot! <laughs> Oh, what are we getting today? Oh, just some more wood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we just got off work for the day. As you can see, there's a lumber of wood back here. We had to go pick some up from Home Depot. We ran out of some of the boards that we thought we had enough to cover the ceiling, and we were wrong. So that means that we have to start back up our burning of the wood, our pre-staining of the wood, and our whitewash for the wood. Woo! Turn your face on. A little late night sesh, putting a pre stain on the wood. Yeah. It is freezing cold outside so we're trying to fly through this work i'll just check the temperature it's like 49 degrees right now all right well that's cold to some people and not cold to others but we're going to complain about it because this is <laughs> the coldest that it's been this year so far uh, but yeah we're putting you want to show them the pre-stain that we're using uh we did just burn this so we gave it a little bit of dark color and then once when we put that whitewash on it it'll really let the uh the grain of this wood stand out and here is a difference of what the pre-stain versus the non-pre-stain look like. <laughs> oh, babe. Look, it's nice and cozy in here. It's feeling it's real homey in here. Closet. As you can see, we have some more boards that we burned yesterday. So the plan of action today is to do the whitewash stain that we did on these guys, on these, so that those can go up there and we'll be good. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, get set up and try and knock this out in a few uh, hours. Yeah. What if, what, if they're, what if they're dry today? Can we put something up? Yeah, of course we can. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Hello everybody! What's up guys? We just got off of work and we're currently heading over to Pegasus right now. We didn't do much filming yesterday, but we were able to finish the ceiling. Yeah, they look amazing. Yes. So we're excited to show you guys what those look like, uh, but we do still have to put up the walls. Uh, so I think that that's still on our checklist of things to knock out today. I would say that the first week of November was a success. We were able to knock out the ceiling and we will be knocking out the walls today. And yeah, so we've got what, three more weeks until we move in? It's countdown time, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, starting to feel a time crunch of getting all this stuff done before the end of November. Right now in the fall season, it's kind of our productivity time. It's our state of flow. So we're trying to get as much work as we possibly can done. Um, we're trying to sacrifice those moments that we normally take for ourselves um, to work on this bus because we know that once it's finished, then we'll have as much time as we want to be able to relax and to cultivate ourselves and to do self-development work and all of the things that we intend to do on a daily basis. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, last night was a very interesting night. Uh, we ended up running into a couple different uh, problems that we didn't exactly expect to uh, occur. But the good news is, is we are full of smiles. We are ready to continue to hit the ground running. 
Uh, we do have a new guest with us. My mama is here and Hi. she is helping uh, finish paint up and do some of the touch-ups to the ceiling that we were able to install. Emily's at Home Depot right now picking up some additional screws so that way we can finish the walls for areas like this that you see uh, as well as behind us we have a few more pieces that we have to do. The worst news that happened last night was you may notice that our kitchen cabinets are completely gone. I didn't account for the right size of the bed and the measurements. Um, so therefore our bed wasn't going to fit if we didn't remove the kitchen cabinets that I built. So the good news is I get to listen to all of your amazing comments on how to improve it for next time. I just was expecting it to be in a different bus and not necessarily this one. Um, so over there is our kitchen cabinets. So yeah, I get to figure out uh, how to redo this. Um, I'm hoping that it doesn't take forever because this uh, project took me about a week and obviously we're on a deadline so we got to get this done as quickly as possible. The reason that we only did two boards on the bottom is because our bed's going to be covering it. We're going to have the bed frame basically, we're going to build it roughly up to here, and then our mattress is going to sit on top which will give it an extra like 10 inches or so. Um, but yeah, so everything, it's all going to be hidden and we also did this for weight purposes because I know a lot of you guys have been commenting about weight weight distribution in the bus so we've been a little bit more considerate of that. And we also redid the cabinets and that was because our dimensions didn't really add up with how wide our bed is going to be. It looks so much better and it takes away a lot of the, the wood that we had to use to hold it in place. So I think right now it's at 30 and then with the countertop on the cabinet it's an additional 2 inches so it's a total of 32, 32. inches. We put the boards all the way down here because we're going to have our couch here. And this is kind of what we did with just some extra wood pieces since I did cut half of the boards for the ceiling. <laughs> messed it all up. But um, we were able to reuse these and I think it looks really good. It almost looks like a subway tile kind of thing, but just a little better since it's not tile. Yeah, and I also think that we're going to use uh, this top area to put some uh, storage container yeah. shelves or, you know, hooks, something, something like that. Mm -hmm. So on the left hand side over here, we're going to have a shower wall and oh. over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to do a shower wall here that's going to be multicolored. Go ahead, babe. Yeah, so I don't know if we want to stain the wood and do it that way or just go ahead and get like a house paint and just paint it on there, just any of the boards that we have and do like a funky design with it. But yeah, that's kind of what we're going with right now. Everything is white and I love it. It looks so good. I had a little freak out moment last night and I almost had to put curtains on all the windows, but then Austin talked me out of that. Thank you, babe. Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> and then in this area, this is gonna be our planter's box area. So I'm gonna build a long planters box to put in here that'll come up a little bit and then we're also going to have three porthole windows so i've been looking online to research some nautical windows that we can use up here just three little portholes um, we wanted to go with one long window but we couldn't there were some on the market that i found but they were tented windows and then the ones that weren't tented weren't the right size so this was the best idea that we could come up with also if you want to come up here we have all of our solar kit controls up in here, all the panels and stuff that we have um, just to check the batteries whenever we need to, to turn it on, just easy access. And yeah, we wanted to leave that there so it was kind of hidden away. We could have put it out here, but I just think it looks better in there. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to help our channel grow. Stay tuned till next time where our bus really starts to look like a home on wheels.